There are actually many, many hundreds of stories of Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is the word for witch in the Russian fairy tales. In the particular story that we're looking at, it's probably the most famous Baba Yaga story. It takes a young, innocent girl. She has to go through the forest to the witch's house. She's captured by Baba Yaga and she has to achieve three impossible tasks to escape Baba Yaga. So we've paralleled this with our own world, but we've tried to set it in, it in what we could describe as a, a retro futuristic world. We're trying to pull out elements of the story that we think people can relate to and so therefore make it a bit more relevant for now. It's about an old woman who's full of life and wonder and, and horror and magnificence and she sort of helps to lead a, a younger, timid, fearful woman. Find her own colour I suppose. Baba Yaga represents the dark, Vaselina represents the light, and these are things that everyone has in them. And so I think the set in particular, as well as the costumes, will hopefully reflect that. They're going to be a very different kind of cold, post-industrial environment for Vaselina at the beginning, which is very sort of mundane and impressive. And I think Baba Yaga's world is much more about nature and elemental. Because it's a touring set, rather than changing scenery, we're going to use video projection, which is also quite good of suddenly transporting the characters to a different place which suits this magical witch character. So it is designed very much to tour, uh, but the other thing we've really tried to do is be very savvy about our use of technology so that one thing that Windmill is quite known for is our use of beautiful technical production values. So we have Chris Edzer doing a lot of amazing animation for the show. When I'm watching a show I always really love it when the music takes you all over the place and goes to the extreme and I love extreme. Uh, music, I love heavy metal, I love beautiful, soft, classic music. This show is so much fun. The characters are essentially clowns. It's an exciting project and I think we're going to create a work quite unlike anything that, that we've seen before, which is kind of the whole point.